Hi, in my last video I talked about the relationship between inflation and interest rates. If you do not already fully understand this basic relationship, please watch that video as it will help in understanding today's video. Today will be more my personal view on whether interest rates will rise. First of all, with rising interest rates I am talking about the central banks influencing interest rates to rise. So how do central banks increase interest rates for the entire country or region? They cannot directly adjust rates, but they have certain tools to move rates to their desired levels. You can think of the policy rate, this is the rate at which commercial banks get to borrow from the central bank. Another measure is the federal funds rate in the US, which is the interest rate that banks charge each other to borrow or lend excess reserves overnight. Now there are more tools like open market operations, also called OMOs and reserve requirements, but for now it is important to understand that central banks set the interest rate. Now, interest rates have been near zero for some time, and in Europe there are even negative interest rates. This was to give a boost to the economy after the pandemic hit and to stimulate spending. Now that we are recovering and inflation is rising because of these zero interest rates, we might need to raise interest rates. Remember from my previous video that there is an inverse relationship between inflation and interest rates. This rise in interest rates would have an effect on the entire financial system as everyone would be impacted. When the central banks target higher interest rates, the commercial banks will also set higher interest rates because they now borrow from the central bank at a higher rate. They pass these higher costs on by increasing the cost of loans to their customers. So now people like you and me are also victim of higher rates because of more expensive loans for houses, cars, land, etc. Now, there are many countries like Venezuela, Zimbabwe, Sudan and Argentina with already extremely high inflation. Today I want to highlight the Western world more. Europe inflation was 1.6% in April and inflation for the US was 4.2% in April year over year. I expect these numbers to rise the coming months and at least till the end of 2022, like many other economists. Keep in mind that historically inflation around 2% has been the target for a quote unquote healthy economy according to central banks. I expect like many others that inflation this year will be way in excess of 2% in the US but also in Europe. It is difficult to give predictions but if the governments tell you it's 5%, the real number is probably times 3. This is because of how they understate CPI, but that is out of scope for this video. For now, just look at the price of your groceries and tell me with a straight face you haven't noticed a big difference. Well, if we start to get worries about inflation, then we just have to raise interest rates, right? Well, that's not how policymakers are thinking about the current situation. They feel the economy and employment still need to get a boost. Inflation is their second problem. The chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, even says that inflation is not a problem at all because inflation will be transitory. With this, he means that inflation will only be short-lived and will soon die out because supply in the economy will catch up. In Europe, the same view holds. Uh, we do believe that inflation numbers in 21, which we will see rising, are of a temporary nature and rely on temporary factors. But then again, economic growth has been slower than in the US because of the pandemic. Christine Lagarde, president of the European Central Bank, or the ECB, said at a press conference about a week ago that it was far too early for the ECB to start to pull back on asset purchases, which are the so-called OMOs uh, I talked about before. I believe the central banks will change their minds sooner than they would have expected because of high inflation, which will stay because of a lack of supply in the economy and therefore won't be transitory. At that point, we will already be too late. Especially in the US, the central bank is cornered because of the amount of short-term debt and high leverage in the entire system. An increase in interest rates of 0.5% for example won't do anything to suppress inflation at that time. We would need an increase of multiple percentage points like Volcker in 1981 did with a 20% federal funds rate. But this simply won't be possible because of all the subsequent insolvencies. The Federal Reserve will raise rates eventually slightly, but in the end inflation will win. 
In Europe, I expect a similar pattern, but less extreme with lower interest rates and lower inflation. Thank you so much for your attention. Do you think they will raise interest rates? And if so, when and with how much? I will see you in the next video. Bye.